Lin's a billionaire. He got rich creating an online game platform in China. And he has a dream. He wants his gaming company to now expand into making movies. The first one, Star Wars. He wants to create Star Wars-like movies. So in need of a story, he goes out and buys the rights of this existing sci-fi novel called The Three-Body Problem. The book is already selling very well, so he reckons he can make a movie trilogy out of it. So he starts a new company to handle this three-body problem material. And to run the company, he appoints this guy, Ju, a lawyer he knows. So they get to work. Three years have gone by, and Lin and his company are working on a series of six movies from the book. He then goes out to Hollywood to get them to license the movies, but keeps getting rejected. To make matters worse, the lawyer person is siphoning money out of his company and showing little to no work. We will get to this guy in a bit. So Lin isn't happy, not being productive, accomplishing essentially nothing. And Lin suddenly has an idea. He goes back to his existing contacts from the online game community, since there was a TV series done from it. And he wants to see if they have people they know well that can leverage to make this happen. So these two people, turns out, they have a connection on Netflix. So they have a meeting, and eventually they all get a deal with them. They get a deal with Netflix to turn the three-body problem into a bunch of movies. Finally, things are starting to go right for Lin. He now goes back to his company and now starts getting things in order. He demotes the lawyer from head of the company and replaces him with another executive. But he made a deadly mistake. He didn't fire him. He kept him there, just demoted him. So obviously, the lawyer now is pissed. And now, he starts plotting his revenge. He finds a place outside of the city where the company is located, and he builds a lab. He uses a dark web and tours to learn how to poison people. So he orders a bunch of chemical stuff to make his untraceable poison. But he isn't a chemist. So he starts working on his poison, trying it on a bunch of rats, and when he gets it right, he is now ready for the next step of his plan. Revenge. So one day, while in the office, he spiked the beverages of his co-workers and Lin. And soon after, Lin and the other co-workers start feeling sick. Really sick. And soon, all are rushed to the hospital. And the doctors immediately know they all have been poisoned. But they just can't seem to figure out with what. Remember that the lawyer took his time to learn how to make an untraceable poison. So they run test after test and get nowhere, trying to figure this out. But they call the police and tell them they are 100% sure they were all poisoned. They just don't know with what. And soon the police get involved and they start investigating. And pretty quickly, the lawyer becomes a prime suspect. So police questions him and he denies the whole thing, saying he didn't take a part in any of it. But his co-workers are all suspicious of him. So the cops are now like, dude, we know it was you. Just tell us what the poison is so doctors can save them. But he's like, nope. He refuses to talk, denying everything. But luckily, the four employees started to recover. But not Lin. Lin didn't make it. He ended up passing away without ever seeing his dream come to fruition. So police doubled down, and after some digging, they eventually found the lawyer's lab. They brought in some chemists to figure that out. And he was eventually charged with murder and sentenced to death. And four years later, the three-body problem gets made into a show. And it finally premieres on Netflix. Lean's dream finally comes true.